Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video I want to speak about the uh, Node.js and the nice uh, Log4.js uh, model you can install and use like uh, when you know from, from Python and other language you can log directly to the file or you can log in out to the terminal. I have searched a, a lot about that and I found this one and it's very very useful for me so I really hope you like this. So. Before we are starting, I really hope you want to, to join my channel here to click subscribe. Just click on the right corner below in the video. And if you have any questions, please make comments below. I'll try to answer you. And uh, yeah, and then I really hope you stay here and listen and watch this video. Let's go ahead. So the first we're going to do is the npm init. And then we just package name should be log4js. It's not correct. so. I will just go inside here and say node here else we can install the log4js. So say npm install save. We need type node and we need cross env and gs node gs node dev and typescript. Let's install everything here and it should be going up here. And it's done. So you can see all the packages installed. This is all the packages I installed for now. And uh, then we basically just need uh, index, the source index.cts, and then we have the console. And the world for now. And I'll just make command here so and just let's see how it reacts and if you say yes hello world and it's like going inside here and say this one it should reload and that's the perfect one so the next step we we basically i'm gonna do now it's uh, installing the log um, log4js model here so the npm install save log4js and then we should getting up and running with that and you can see it's installed right here and i just need to reinstall other models it should be the models so i just type the save there and then it's moved to the other one so your in pin package file should be look like this. Now we're basically ready to to create the very first uh, basic locking file. So let's uh, let's create the first locking file here. So what we're gonna do now it's uh, just to import. We say import and then I need get logger and configurator from Lock for JS here. Now we have imported the model, so let's create the first one. I'll just say so this one, and we need to configure the, the stuff here. And then we need the appendus. And I rename this like app. And we need the type. Should be a file. And the file name should be the file name should be uh, app dot lock, and then we're going to say categories, and we say default appendus. And inside here we just say app. And then we define to say the level of the debug should be 
from info. And then we have the basic configuration here in, in the file. So what I want to do now, it's say const logger is equal to git logger. And then I'll just say logger and you say info I will my first lock what JS exist so let's uh, run it with the development and then we should having the lock file here and then we have the first lock file here but you can see we don't have printed out to the, to the console Sometimes it's been very nice to both have it uh, inside the console and into the file. And the only thing we need to do here, it's going up to the appendix and add the new one, call it out. And uh, what we got to say, it's the type should be std out. And uh, that's it. And you can just go down here and put it down below now you can see we put it out for the console here and have the fine color and we have it inside the log file here so let's build one more so a debug Logging debug logging warning can yeah. trace and let's see what happened here error one info debug and let's see if we're going down here you can see we have the error form info and we don't have any kind of trace so we just remove that again and say debug here and let's see what happened debug info warn and error it's going for the file here and you can see everything it's here so that's uh, that's the basic thing and uh, now we basically think what if i have a very very huge log file could i split it up and can i maybe save only the three biggest files something like that and yes you can make the file rotation and I will show how you can do this uh, now so you better understand how you can do this so let's go up here and say multi that's what we call the name and I just type put it inside and say type should be multi file base should be locks and property uh, the property is what we want to call the file and I'll say call it uh, category category name that's the name of this one so it will be default and uh, extension should be dot lock and uh, then we basically just having the the max uh, lock size we, we need to have back here so let's do it here and uh, say max lock size 24 that's mean that's mean one uh, one kilobyte it's not so much but it's to demonstrate um what we are going to work with here and then we say compress is equal to true and then you can see we have close the application here and start up again and we should have the locking bolt down no because I need to put it down here and now you can see we have the logging folder and if I'm just saving here and uh, then you can see 
here is coming. So now we have the default locking here. It's eight lines, and then we have the the compressed version. So of course the the bytes here you can change what you want. I'm just setting one kilobyte to demonstrate here, but I would prefer to have around ten or fifteen, uh, fifteen, uh, yeah, megabytes or something like that. And backups, it's up to you. But remember, if your file is too big and you need to read the lock to it, it's taking more time than if you keep a low lock and have a lot of lock backups. So that's my idea here, and I really hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget my code here will be on GitHub. You can just find the link in the description below. And don't forget to ask a question and like and share. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye.